What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game called Aztez, which is kind of like a turn-based strategy brawler beat-em-up. It's got a lot of weird ideas inside of it, but the game is actually really fluid and fun. It plays really well. So if you're interested in awesome beat-em-up strategy hybrid weird combination gameplay that takes place in ancient Mexico, where you get to smack fools with like nahuatls and stuff, or mahuatls or whatever the hell that word is, it's the stick with the teeth all over it. If you want to hit somebody with one of those, this will be your game. So let's play a new campaign here and see if we can jump on in. The Valley of Mexico, late 15th century. So, Huejotla joins the Empire. Okay. Mission info. The Empire is expanding thanks to the strength of Tenochtitlan. Uh, where diplomacy fails, special Aztez units are dispatched to conduct violent missions and achieve results. Uh, let's take a look at our loadout. So we've got all kinds of random stuff we can apparently equip. Uh, weapons are locked, so we're not going to be able to do much right there. Our active god is war at the moment. Let's deploy. Let's do this thing and see if we can change the outcome of the world that we're currently trying to live in. So this is the combat screen. I am playing with a controller uh, because the keyboard controls for this game are really bad. Uh, just don't even bother. Don't do it. Just get a controller if you're going to play this game. Apparently, I've already won. So that was easy enough. Just did it with the auto attacks. Our score is pretty decent. We got some unique attacks in there. Managed to whoop some fools on up. We didn't get to drain their blood, though. See, that was the downside, is that, like, we could have drained their blood. So it looks like Huejotla has joined the Empire. Ah, uh, what else do we want to do? We can go to end our turn. Let's see what happens here. The turn is complete. Blood has been shed, and we have been the destroyer of nations that will not join us. Uh, we've got the Spoils of War. It's a common item. Many missions will have bonuses to your inventory. Check it often. Okay. Uh, defeat all the enemies in two minutes for a common item. 60 seconds or less, we get plus five resources. Let's do it. I'm ready to kick that ass. So the X button is going to allow us to do our normal attack. Y button is going to make us throw a shield attack out there. Uh, if we use the A button, it's going to allow us to jump. B allows us to grab people. We can suck up blood by holding down the left trigger. And then the blood allows us to use our super attacks, in case you're wondering how that goes. Uh, oh, he got me with a nice little shoulder charge. All right, I'm going. Yep, let's just go ham on these cats. Ham, eggs, and cheese. As they jump back up, we'll get them into the air for a sky juggle. Ooh, and that whooping right dardo. Yep, I'm going to keep them up in the air. And then uh, if I can't, ooh, we got them for a nice little juggle right there. If they're glowing with the little red thing around them, it means you can grab them. You can suck the blood out of their face. But I didn't do it right there because I don't believe in violence. I believe in pacifism, apparently, he said, as he beat little guys to death with a stick with teeth all over it. Plus five resources. Hopefully that's awesome. I don't know what that does for me. Uh, we can pick between Creator's Flower, Removes All Missions, and Respawns New Ones, or Tax Collector. Target City produces nine resources and becomes a free city. Um, let's just go with that one right there. I don't know what the other one's going to do. It makes it sound like maybe they get freedom after I tax the shit out of them. And I would rather have them on my side right now. In our inventory, what can we do? Eight resources to turn a target neutral city into an empire city. Okay. So that's a princess. We've got the assassin. Spend eight resources to turn dissenting cities into a neutral city. We've also got the conjurer. Acquires a random item for five bucks. And then we've got the general. Spend ten resources to prevent an imperial city from ever dissenting. Okay. Uh, as far as items go, we've got the smoking mirror used to raise the early game difficulty. Okay. We've also got the creator's flower. We've got artifacts over here. The ball of feathers unlocks the use of Whitzelapokli. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I want that. Do I want that? It's a ball of feathers. I'm not really sure if that's something that I want. I'll buy an agent. Uh, let's turn a... Oh, I don't know. We'll keep an eye out. So are these dissenting cities over here? Like, how do you know that it's a dissenting city? I'm assuming that those are neutral cities if they're in white. And then my best guess is a red is probably going to be a dissenting city. Looks good to me. I'm just going to end my turn. We whooped the ass off that turn. And I think we're ready to go for some more violence. So Coleman, descent begins in Zalta Khan. Or Haltacon, or however you say it. I don't know. Because, like, if you go to Oaxaca, the X sound makes an H, but sometimes I think it's an H sound. I'm pretty sure. So, Akalmon joins the Empire. Okay. Despite its powers, the Empire's resource is still limited. Sometimes bad things must be allowed to happen in order to expand. Uh, if we defeat all enemies in two minutes, we get the Akalmon. Uh, otherwise, perform one counter, we get a common item. Let's go. Countering is going to be done with the right trigger. You do it right as enemies try to hit you, like Batman style. Uh, what are you guys up to? I don't want to take too much time over here, so if I can just swat the hell out of you, I'm just going to do that right now. 
Ah, uh, this big guy. Oh no, that dude put the... Ooh, he put the paws on me. So he's got a shield, which means I need to sweep his feet out from under him first. That's the mechanic we're looking at right there. Is that if you got an enemy who uses a shield... Ooh, he jumped straight the hell over me. I'm gonna trip him up. Get him up into the air. Give him a nice little combo right there. Bash him back down and then stomp on him. Ooh, that was the combo right there. You saw that one. That was some real Street Fighter level genius right there. That was artistry on paper. Took care of him. All right. Uh, let's see what we got for this. So we're going to get a random item. We took these dudes out quick. Uh, Akulman joins the Empire. Good enough for me. We got a young conscript. Impressed by the growth of the Empire, a promising young warrior pledges their life to Tanoxalan. Okay. Sounds good to me. Plus one Aztez. That means if I die, I'll be able to send myself back up into con or back into combat. So difficult choices. Despite its power, okay, so we still got to do the same thing over here. So the city's under attack, and we got to preserve it by sending in our special forces, kick assers. Uh, what are you, what are you, what are you doing right here, little buddy? What are you doing? I'm gonna knock you up into the air, and I'm gonna get you with that same thing that I did previously. God, that combo gets him. That combo is what's up. I'm gonna. Let me see if I can ratchet. What are you guys... Oh, God. I don't know what he tried to do right there, but it worked. He fired off a spell and then whooped me afterwards. I got to take this dude out. I'm going to go high on him. Knock him up into the air. Put a couple on him right there. Drop it on down low so that it gets the both of them. And it looks like I might be able to finish somebody off over here. Are you done? All right. Let me drain your blood. Ugh, blood drain with the fatality. So three kills right there, max combo. I don't know if I did the bonus thing. I wasn't looking at what the bonus thing was. It said that I got something. Oh, get struck less than five times. That's cool. Yep, I didn't get struck five times, so we get our free little item right there. This dude's got some badass earrings, dude. I gotta rock that shit. Uh, negotiation assets. Eliminate to target combat event. Okay, limestone obelisk increases city's population by two. I'll probably put that in my capital or something like that. Uh, the I think the population is the little number next to it. I want to make Tanoctalan a little bit more badass. So let's go to our inventory. We've got items right here. I'm going to activate this, and we're going to put it on... Oh, I don't know. Let's put it on Tanoctalan. Let's increase their population. So we're up to five right there. I'm going to assume that the city's going to grow a little bit larger. Have we gotten any new stuff? Uh, it doesn't look like we've gotten any new things. Our biceps still remain woefully under-decorated. Hopefully next time around we'll be able to get our guns wrapped up in some sexy sundries. So Tenayuka, descent is spread over there. Well, you know how that's going to go. Somebody's just going to get their ass whipped before I go over there. Uh, we also have a spy network, which has been... Oh, we have to destroy the network. Okay, 16 hit combo gets us a common item. Let's destroy the spy network. I don't know what the enemy's going to look like over here, but in my opinion, they have got to go. Let's keep this combo trucking. Uh, the downside there is that this dude, unfortunately, there we go, got that combo. Get it, knock him up. Ooh, take care of business right there and make sure that these wizards or mages or whatever the hell they are do not get up in my business. I'm going to drop on him real fast and hopefully we can take him out the picture. Nope, I need blood. Feed me the blood of the map. There we go. So the blood of the map has been bestowed upon me as I slay mine enemies. Oh, did that give me full? Did that give me full? Because I need to get it up there, man. Let's have that blood. Let's do it. Get that combo in. Oh, I don't have the combo yet. I want it so badly, though. I'm going to wait for him to do his thing over here. I can dash, by the way, just in case you were wondering if that's a thing that I can do. Uh, there's our super attack. Boom. Laid him on out. Sometimes you just got to summon the power of the war god to put people on the mat. You got to put the mitts on them, the paws on them, drop them, and get it done. Let's continue forward with our conquest. I think we've earned it. So we got a common item right there. The spy network has been annihilated. So nobody's... Oh, we got a fertility idol. A big old fluffy pillow lady. Okay, target city gets festival of passion, which maximizes your population. Or we can get a free Aztez. Uh, I'm going to take the fertility idol because, you know, pillowy ladies and all that. Uh, subjugate. So Atletzinko will join the empire if I can knock this down. Let's go ahead and get up in there and let's do our thing. Although we got two of the spearmen in here. So I'm thinking we're going to have to really, really, really think about getting this done. You guys want to go in on me? You can try. Uh, he's going to try and strike right there, but I'm going to block it and make sure that that doesn't go through. Uh, what did you do right there? 23 hit combo. If I can get a little bit of blood in here, I think that would be what I'm looking for. Let me drain that on up. Yup. A little bit of blood that's been added to our little decanter thing. Oh, I thought I blocked that right there. I used the wrong key. That was my bad. I hit the wrong I hit the wrong button on my controller. Oh, with the mortal comp. Oh, I had to do a god attack? Well, there wasn't enough blood for me to do a god attack. 
I probably should have sucked up a little bit more blood. It's unsanitary, but it allows us to call our god down to destroy our enemies. And really, what's more satisfying than that? Calling down the power of a deity to really sort of put the screws to everybody that ever stood against you. Uh, is there a drought right now? What is this? So a drought has been prevented. What is this right here? A group of young vandals are getting ready to face a temple of rain. Destroy them immediately. Oh, hell yeah. We'll get on that right now. Can I not do that at the moment? Oh, I guess I can't do that at the moment. So apparently a drought has occurred because they've knocked out. That's going to put Tenayuka and a couple of other things back down. A rainy year. Okay, so we've got a security contact. We've got a subjugate mission. We've got a plundering mission. I mean, I think we should go after... Let's go to our inventory. And we've got to subjugate somebody. Let's turn a dissenting city into a neutral city using the assassin. Uh, so we'll use it on Tenayuka. And so there it is. Descent has been eliminated. We beat them back down and under our control. Uh, is there anybody else dissenting right now? Festival of Glory. Let's look at the mission. You are to perform at this city's Festival of Glory, an endurance event. Every sacrifice you perform yields the Empire a resource. Okay, and we can get a cosmetic set if we can do two counters. Alright, I'll try and counter it on up. Countering can be difficult in this game, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. What you want to do right now? You want to flex up? Nope, you didn't want to flex up. There it is. We got that counter right there. Knocked him on down. And then you got to sweep the legs a little bit. Put him up. All right, so he's been drained. We're going to suck the blood out of him. So there's maximum blood right there. Get that all sucked up into our little Orby thing. And we got the combo right there. So we got the bonus achieved, which means I can go straight ham on these dudes. Now that we got the bonus shit. To oh, that dude just whooped the blood out of me. I don't know how I... Ah, I've been pinned. Oh, Lord. Help me out, great thunderous god of death. Ugh. That's how we shut him down right there. Let's get all up in here. Yup. See if we can get him up and out of my business. Oh, he actually, like, parries while he's doing that. Okay. That's unfortunate, but I need that blood right there. So let me go ahead and suck it on up. Oh, he tried to get me, but I don't know if I'm going to allow it. That dude's got a guard, though. we got to break our way through. Oh, he got me from behind while I was trying to break that guard. Let me see if I can get them all gathered on one side. Yeah, see, that was the opposite of what I wanted to do right there. Sweep his leg. There we go. See if I can stay away from these cats right here. Keep him off balance. See if I can get a little bit of loving in right there. Uh, suck up a little bit of blood. And then summon the god. Ooh. Knocked them all out. Get a little bit more here. Yup, and stay on him. Oh, I can't get him right there. Alright, there we go. Knock him on up into the air to get him out of my face and then get speared as I land on the ground because obviously getting stabbed is a great way to do my business here. Uh, we got two guys that are ready to have the blood sucked out of him right there. So let's double blood suck. Hell yeah. That's how we do it out here. We double blood suck for days. And then we unleash the god on these cats. Yeah. That big old scepter of Aztec righteousness or whatever it is that we call it. I don't know if Aztecs are overly concerned with righteousness or if they're more just concerned with everybody doing exactly what they're told or something. I don't know. Whatever whatever aspect of humanity your society represents, then by all means, uh, I've been stabbed again. By all means, the god represents that with his mighty scepter or whatever it is he's doing. Knock this guy on out. And down we go. Is he down? I think he's down. And free blood. The festival is concluded. And let's see how many resources we got out of there. We got a set, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we killed 14 people, so that's 14 resources that we got for that particular event, which is going to allow us to fuel our future assassinations and whatnot. Uh, five resources right there. Very nice. And then we've got the accoutrement of the Distinguished Priest, or we can get the High Military Weapons Set. Masterwork Weapons of the Mexica High Military Elite. Ooh, I don't know if I want, like... A new loincloth? See, that looks kind of whack right there. I'm not feeling the Tim Burton hat. We're going to get some new weapons. See what we can do with that. So we've received some cosmetic sets. Hell yeah. Let's go to our loadout very quickly, and we'll see what we can swap around. So we get anything new in here? Well, I don't see any place that I can swap it in my loadout. It says that things are still locked. Maybe it comes on the next turn or something. We'll try then. Uh, we've got a security contract. Popotlan joins there. Let's go take care of Popotlan first, I think. So we'll deploy. Oh, I should probably play an extra Aztez too. Uh, where's that extra Aztez at? Uh, we will maximize using this thing right here on Chapultepec. Oh, I hit the wrong spot. That's okay. So that'll maximize population. So we get six resources, rare and valuable item, triple choice. If I get hit less than five times, I got this. I can take it. I can get hit less than five times. I mean, first up, 
I gotta gather some people up though because there's like enemies flying around everywhere and so I gotta make sure that I keep my game on stat right now because these dudes are like flying through the air like eagles and shit fly like an eagle with a spear oh nope I don't feel good about an enemy that flies through the air like an eagle with a spear eagles should not have spears I don't think they carry those they have talons which is kind of similar but also dissimilar explode this dude real fast for all the blood that I can gather uh, they can do whatever it is they think they're gonna do, but it ain't gonna get me. These dudes dreaming if they think they're gonna light me up like that. Ooh, I caught that guy as he came down. Ooh, and stomped that dude out too. Goddamn stomp out convention in here. That was ugly. How you gonna get whooped that hard? How you gonna get whooped that hard when you got numbers and size and long weapons? Uh, we got a rare and valuable item triple choice. Let's do this thing. So we maximize the population right there. I don't know if they've joined the Empire just yet, but we'll make them. Uh, can be offered to Laloc as a tribute at Tanoctalan. Makes it rain. Okay. Target city becomes ruins. All right. And then we've also got a royal document. Eliminates one of your Aztecs in exchange for 21. Uh, let's go ahead. A very convincing map to the sacred birthplace of the Aztecs. Instantly initiates an exodus. I don't know what I should use. I guess I'll take the false map to Aslan. I don't know if that's something that I want, but I'll take it. Uh, we have a security contract right here. We only have one Aztec left, unfortunately. So, oh no, we don't have one left. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. We only got two turns left. So let's see what rolls around, what needs to be dealt with, what events decide to rear their ugly little heads, and who needs to have the, uh, ooh, very nice. And so I think I'm going to go for domain right now. If I can get anybody converted over, every blood vial that I fill gets one population. Every kill gets one resources. All right. There's nobody I can conquer right now, though. I don't really need resources at the moment. I can unlock a knife if I take knife training. Well, I kind of want to try a new weapon. So, yeah, let's do knife training. Let's do it. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. I'm using a sword. I'm going to assume that using a sword is going to enable me. Suck his blood. Blood has been sucked. Get it all yeah, inside my little thingy. I don't even know what I'm carrying right now, but I'm going to put it all inside of there. Probably not going to do the bonus thing, because that would require me to, like, defend against magical spells. And those are kind of scary. I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm going to fill that up. We're going to go for the big godly attack right there. Knock them all loose. Get them shook up a little bit so that they know how we play this game. And how we play this game? Fast and violent. Those are the only two operant phrases. Keep on whooping on them. Keep that blood flowing. Are they all fixed up? Oh, they are. Good. Well, then I'm going to fill blood vials using your bodies. Hooray for me! Blood vials filled! Maximum blood! And so there it is. Our god is ready to go. Uh, red attacks cannot be blocked or parried. You just got to get the hell out of the way of them in case you're wondering. And so I don't know if those guys even had a blockable attack. I think I saw some yellow go up. Yellow can be blocked or parried. And so that's what you want to keep in mind as you're playing through. Uh, this game is silky smooth right now. The developers have done a really good job at making a beat-em-up game where all of the mechanics and the controls flow together very nicely. And that's a very important feature for a beat-em-up game. Add to that fact that the game looks good, it's stylized, and it looks super badass. Uh, I think you've got an ultimate winner right here if you're into that sort of thing. In addition, it doesn't fall into the hole that a lot of beat-em-up games fall into where there's nothing to do but beat up enemies. There's definitely like a strategy layer right here, and even though it's a very light strategy layer, it is a strategy layer nonetheless. And so you've got to decide what things you want to... Ooh, we've got a knife now. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go with... Uh, let's increase the population of, uh, of Hohuatla. We're going to try that out. And so I'm going to deploy. We get a cosmetic set if we can get a 36-hit combo. I think I can make that happen. I think I can make that take place. I'm going to sweep the legs on this dude first. And let's get a little bit of attackiness going on right now. Yep. Not being tacky, but attacky. I need more enemies if I'm going to hit 36 combo. I need way more enemies. So hopefully they decide to show up for church here. Oh, he kicked me on his way back up. Little bastard. Oh, no. That dude went in on my shit. Good lord. Here, I can do juggle combos too, you bastard. That's right. I know you don't want to play around with these combos, these blaps. I got them for you if you want to play around with them, but hell, I, I don't know if I'm going to get a 36-hit combo if there's only, like, one guy here. Like, there's two dudes. Normally, I need a little bit more density. I'm going to drop on him, and unfortunately, that's going to be an abject failure. Let's go ahead and start this on off. When he comes through, uh, we're going to do our best to try and whoop him up into the air, but it's not going to happen. The enemies actually use a pretty good sense of spacing 
Uh, if you look at the way they decide to go through, they actually use a lot of spacing, and they're very careful about it, too. Ooh, he tried to get me, but I don't know how I feel about that right there. Uh, I'll knock him up in the air. We will keep this thing. Ah, I just can't get the combo I need, unfortunately. Oof. All right, so this dude with the shield, I need him to go like yesterday. This dude needs to get out of my face. And until we get him taken care of, I don't think we're getting anything done right here. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to try and get some combos lit up right there. I'm going to rush this dude to see if I can get it. Ooh. That dude put fists on me. My block game was weak. Apparently, I failed. That was it. Uh, we killed a number of them. I don't know if there was a fail criteria right there, though. Oh, festival is complete. Okay, did I get any population? Nope. Didn't get any population because I really didn't have time to suck blood vials right there, unfortunately. Can't do much else, so let's go ahead and skip our turn and see what happens here. Hopefully people stay faithful so I don't have to ride out with the Aztez. I should have taken that thing that gave me a bonus Aztez. So we've got darkness. Emergency, there's an underworld force, and there is a prevent rebellion. Okay, let's do this one. So we've got to sacrifice three enemies to get an uncommon item. Let's go. We got this. I can make this happen. Let's get this beat down. I don't know what these are. I've never seen these before. Good sweet lord. Yeah, those things rushed me with a quickness. They were not messing. Oof, I can't even get my shield up. I would say they need to reduce the knockback a little bit and make it so that recovery is possible mid-combo with like a well-timed whatever. Uh, we need to get rid of somebody over here because this is not going well. This is just a stun lock fest. I can't get out of here. This is just stun locks every single day. Good lord. I'm gonna break. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Like, that was a stun lock festival right there. Like, there was nothing I could do. Like, you can stand behind your shield and get hit over and over and over and over and over again. Or you can just, like, I, I don't know what to do with those enemies right there. They definitely need to reduce the stun lock that exists when you get hit. The actual knockback, uh, it's way too much. Because the enemies, if they're going to combo on you, they need to give you a place in the middle of that combo where you can break out of it and save yourself. And they don't have that right now. You just basically get your entire health bar stun locked off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this free Aztez over here. Uh, getting hit in this game is a really bad plan. And I don't know if that's by design or how that's intended. I thought that dude was going to try something right there. I was a little worried about it. He got me with a spear from the back. That's okay. I can live with that. I got to score some serious points, though, if we're going to walk out of this one. I'm going to put him up in the air. I'm going to try and drop down on these cats over here. If I can, I'll try and suck up some blood real fast while we wait, because I know there is blood laying around on the field. Got you. Got you. All right. That gives us a little bit of leeway, so we can summon the god if we really, really need to. Uh, we can use that as an escape mechanism. See how that works out for us. Uh, this dude is actually doing a great job of just stonewalling us. Let me see if I can get him up into the air. And as he goes down, I don't know if I can continue that combo right there. There we go. And then we'll stay on this cat right here. Give me a god combo. Boom! I don't know how we achieve points, but you know what? We made 100,000 plus points. So you know what? At least we came out with something positive from that fight right there. So yeah, so far the only thing that I've noticed that's a little bit obnoxious is the knockback seems a tiny bit gratuitous. Just a tiny bit because you can get stun locked to death pretty easily, especially with those little crawly guys with the claws. Uh, that's the only thing so far that I think needs like a little rework. Aside from that, the game is smooth. The game is polished. The game is responsive. I really like what they've got going on. With the extra Aztez we've got, we can stop this right here. And so it's just me versus a spear guy? Okay. It's just me versus... Oh, there's a couple of spear guys. Let's try this knife out. So it looks like the knife has like a little bit of a stabby jacker attack right there. All right, I got to get out of the way of these jumpy attacks. Or at the bare minimum, put a little bit of pain on somebody. Did he just actually... Huh. He doesn't have a shield that I can see. How did he block that? He might only be comboable. That might be something we need to do. Uh, maybe just kind of get these guys cleared out first. Ooh, if he got me. Okay. I don't know how I want to deal with this dude. So he's going to charge across. He's probably got homies with him. He tried to get me right there, but... Man, there's a lot of flight happening right now. Like Every single enemy is just staying off the ground. I'm not feeling the knife. I'm thinking the knife is a little bit whack. I'm not going to use that. We'll go ahead and we'll play around with some of the other nasty shit we can do. Jump out of the way of that for just a minute. Am I hurting him? I can't tell if I'm actually dealing damage to him. 
or if he's just like lighting my shit up right now. Oh, I got him. Good. There we go. Get him out of the way because I bet he's got a bunch of blood. So we got a sacrifice right there. Knock him up into the air. If I can manage it, I'm going to try and turn this into the combo that I require in order to keep this thing moving, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, that's going to be all the enemies on screen, so unfortunately I wasn't able to line up the 36 hit combo. I would have liked to, but you know, it took me a minute to adjust to the fact that I was getting my shit caved in by that dude with the spear, so I had to adapt to his tactics and figure it out. Otherwise, it was not going to go well. Uh, my name is Flattercat. This game is called Aztez. If you enjoyed this playthrough, leave me lots of likes and comments down below, and I will do my best to give you some follow-up episodes. If you wanted to get, uh, get the game for yourself and support the developers, you can do that beneath in the description. I've got it for you. Hi, do, everybody. I'll see you next time.